Smart drums may be one of the oldest automatic drum options here in GarageBand, but it's actually kind of cool. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to use it. Let's go. To learn more about drummer, beat sequencer, and all the other drum options in GarageBand, check out the other videos in the description. To add smart drums, step one, hit the plus button and add a new track by tapping on smart drums. Step two, select the kit you'd like to use from the six available kits here. I like this one, the Live Rock Kit. And you'll notice that the drums you can use change with the different kits. Step three, place your first drum. I like to start with a kick drum. If we tap and hold on the kick, drag it onto this grid. You can drag it either loud or quiet, simple or complex. Let's drop this somewhere in the middle. Step four, you can turn on and off the smart drums by using the power button here. Turn it on and off. Step five, let's add some more drums. We'll grab the snare, drag it across, and let's make this one a little more simple. So drop it over here. Step six, what about some cymbals? Let's grab our hi-hats and drop those over by tapping and dragging across. And maybe a little cowbell just for good measure. Step seven, once you're ready to record in your smart drum, simply hit the record button and it'll record in your drum pattern. Step eight, to reset our drums back to the default, just tap on the reset button in the bottom left corner. Step nine, one of my favorites is the randomizer. Just tap on the dice and it'll select drums and put it in a random pattern. In fact, sometimes I use this to create a random pattern for writing a song if I'm a little low on ideas. And finally, step 10 is more of an additional tip than a step here, and that is that you can't actually edit the drums, even though it looks like they're MIDI drums, you can't, which does make the smart drums a little less smart than perhaps we'd like. There you have it, the smart drums. Is it as cool as the beat sequencer or the drummer? Probably not, but it's another drum option to put in your GarageBand repertoire. If you'd like to learn more about using GarageBand, check out the rest of my five-minute tips down in the description.